I asked the Cabinet Office Minister Stephen Barclay 11 times if he wanted to say sorry on behalf of the government. He wasn't keen. Have a listen. But of course, if there were lessons to learn, we're keen to do so. Keen to start with an apology, though, I would have thought. Uh, well, no, we followed the scientific advice. We protected, so no apology. We followed the scientific advice. We protected the NHS. 20,000 lives needlessly lost because you didn't lock down a week earlier and you don't want to apologise. Well, the issue of the timing of the lockdown was based on the evidence and the scientific advice at the time. No apology that um, we were told by the then Health Secretary that there was a protective ring around uh, care homes and we know that that not to be the case. Well, the decisions were taken on the evidence and the scientific advice at the time. They were taken to protect the NHS. I don't understand why you don't want to apologise. Well, there are lessons to learn, but the point is that we took decisions based on the science. Yeah, but you're representing the government this morning and there were 20,000 unnecessary deaths in the United Kingdom, many of them elderly people, and you don't want to apologise. Well, what I'm saying, Kay, is did we take decisions based on the scientific evidence we were protected? Why did we say save I'm lives? Sorry. Did we save lives through deploying the vaccine at pace far quicker uh, the many comparable countries. Are you not sorry about that? Well, this is why we're taking decisions, for example, around uh, why social can't care. Why can't you just say, yes, patients. we are sorry? Well, there will be lessons, and of course, where there's lessons, we're keen to take that on board. How can you not say you're sorry? Well, well it, that is heartbreaking. That impact on families, that impact uh, in terms of people's funerals is heartbreaking. I wasn't going to say sorry.